Hello, my name is Jamie, and welcome back to the channel. Unlike any other channel that showcases Pokemon Go PvP content, my channel exclusively showcases Shadow Pokemon. So if you're into that type of content, I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. So, let's get into today's video. In today's video, we are taking a look at a double ice strategy that I was running in the Remix Cup. This is an ABB team. And if you're wondering how an ABB team works, I did make a video on this the other day. Link will be in the description. These battles were also featured by the fantastic content creator, one of my actual favorites, someone I've followed from the very beginning, Oxford U, and I will link that video down below. So let's get into the team. We've got two ice water types in the back that really don't want to see electric, rock, or fighting. So we've got Shadow Hypno in the lead that can handle these. Obviously Rock and Electric are less common. Fighting is the real threat we're looking to draw out. So we're going to lead Hypno in all circumstances unless we see their fighter in the lead. We will be safe switching into one of our Ice Types in the back to draw it out, bring back in Hypno, farm it down, hope our second Ice Type can sweep. Obviously this meta is really full of flyers, so this strategy did work quite well. And in game one, we pick up a lead against Mancargo. So, like I said, rock types are less common. However, this is a rock fire type, so Lapras has a fairly alright matchup here as it can hit for double super effective with Surf, and even Celio can hit for double super effective with Water Pulse. So, I tank one move, I now make a pivot into Lapras. They switch out into my champs. You can see the traps work fantastically. We draw out the counter user. Surf lands, does huge damage. The opponent looks to be committing to the farm down. They realise they're not going to be able to do it. So I can now let this Lapras go. The Machamp's only at eight counters. So one Confusion should take out this Machamp. I'm not even going to have to take a move, which is fantastic. Hypno comes in, one Confusion down. Let's see what the opponent comes back in with. If they come back in with a Mancargo, I am going to use Hypno to eliminate it, as once again, Celia doesn't have the best matchup. So the correct timing when you fire in a Confusion against Incinerate, so a four turn move versus a five turn move, I throw in one, so I give away one free turn each time. However, if I was to throw two Confusions, I would give away two free turns. I believe that is the best timing you can do. So we shield the Rock Blast. This Thunder Punch should draw the last shield. The opponent actually lets it go, which is great. So I'm looking for the aggressive Confusion down. We do manage to get it. I am debuffed, so I'm instantly spamming out Celio, and in the back is the Flyer. So like we said, the meta is absolutely full of Flyers. They've obviously got this Flyer to protect from counter users that Mancargo really doesn't want to see. Obviously they had a Machamp in the middle as well, so it is likely they're going to have something like a Flyer, because they are quite weak to something like a Toxicroak, and this is pretty much GG's. We can just Powder Snow down, the Body Sam spam is going to be too much for this knockdown. We've even got the Thunder Punch locked and loaded on the Hypno. However, I'm just going to shield this up. Body Slam Spam for the victory. So GG's to the opponent. So things to note in that matchup. Obviously, Lapras and Celio didn't have the best matchup against Mancargo as our Ice-type moves would be resisted, whereas the Incinerates would be hit with a decent neutral damage. However, if I would have stayed in with the Hypno, the Machamp could have potentially swept our backline. So when using the ABB team, it's essential that you do swap out. Moving on into game two of the video. We lead our Hypno into Frostalas. This is kind of neutral. If they do go for the Shadow Ball, that would near one shot. We would survive an Avalanche, but if we had Fire Punch, it'd also do big damage. We both instant swap. The opponent had the same idea as we did. They switch out into a Shadow Drapion. This is a fairly decent matchup for our Lapras. Crunch lands for decent damage. You definitely don't want to shield the first because they could potentially lower your defense. But either way, it looks like we can only take two anyway, so we are gonna have to shield up. Surf, they draw, does draw the shield. At this stage, they've got far too much health on this Drapion, so I'm also going to commit a shield and look to land this second Surf. I'd ideally want to get the second shield, however, if they do let it go, that's not bad for us either, as Lapras definitely is not going to get farmed down by that Frostlass. They actually bring in a Kofa Grigus. This really isn't something we want to see. They will look to farm us down, so I'm going to throw this Surf. I'm going to have to aggressively swap into my Celio. So I do bring in Celio. Celio is really bulky, so we can tank whatever they want to throw. The Shadow Ball will do big damage. 
They actually go for the Psychic, looking for a 10% chance to lower our defence. The opponent combo plays into Frostlass. They will need to go for the Shadow Ball, which they do. We've just used Celio to soak up damage. Sorry, Celio, you are the damage sponge. We now rely on Hypno to close out this game. We throw two Confusions and fire the Thunder Punch. This would KO from this range. The opponent actually shields, which I believe is a mistake. And they've also thrown at a really poor timing. So we get a free Confusion through. We shield the Shadow Ball. The Kofa Grigas in the back is two Shadow Claws short of the Shadow Ball. They have no shields. We are running Shadow Ball. We don't normally run Shadow Ball, so it is nice to have Shadow Ball in this occasion. And we take out the Kova Kriegers and take this game. I think the opponent there should have put faith in Kova Kriegers, clutching out this game. However, we don't mind, as they did shield and give us a wink on. We see the Flyer in the lead in this next matchup. I throw one Confusion and make a dip into Celio. The Celio is met by a Perserker. This isn't fantastic, as obviously the Powder Snow is resisted. We're taking neutral from the Shadow Claw, and close combat would hit for huge super effective damage. They're building up a load of energy. The opponent's counting is absolutely fantastic. They CMP tires on the Body Slam. They even throw the close combat, so really well played in the mid game by the opponent. I'm waiting at my switch timer. I'm hoping I can confusion down this Berserker before they make a move. Even with the lowered defence, the squishy Berserker does survive. I imagine this is going to be the foul play. They're actually running an Iron Head close combat. What a spicy mon and what a spicy moveset from the opponent. So back in comes Pidgeot. We're both using four turn moves, which is really annoying. As they get a free Gust, we do draw the shield and make a swap into Lapras. The opponent hasn't shown us their last Pokemon here. I've got a huge call to make. I call the Feather Dance, which is big. In the back is a Cray Dilly, so this is looking a bit rough. I build up towards the Ice Beam, however, not many people run Ice Beam in the Great League. Let's see if the opponent respects it. They call the bait. They're now at the Grass Knot, so now I can't really afford to shield this as they will outpace us to the next move. I let Lapras go down, and now I'm putting all my chips on Hypno. We get the free Confusion. I'm calling the Grass Knot, I believe this could be a win con. It is the grass knot. Stone Hedge would have near taken us out. I'm now looking to Confusion down. Unfortunately, the Cray Dilly does survive with one HP. However, we're almost at the back-to-back -back Thunder Punch. So to win this game, we are going to have to try and deny a Gust. Gust comes through. You love to see it. This Pidgeot's got four free Gusts in this game. Thunder Punch draws the shield. We do survive the Gust. This Thunder Punch needs to KO yet another Gust. That's the fifth free Gust of the match. And unfortunately, they survive with one HP. GG's to the opponent. To be honest, you can't be that mad, as the game should function that when I throw a move, especially on alignment, the opponent should get a free fast move. However, it is a bit annoying, as that's not how the game works. As in a lot of cases, they would have got zero or at least only two or three fast moves through. However, you can't win them all. GG's to that opponent. And in this game, we pick a lead against Wishcash. So we stay in a little bit. We soak one move onto the Hypno. And they switch out into Registeel. So Celio has loads of energy. I'm obviously going to go Water Pulse. Water Pulse will hit for decent neutral damage. The opponent actually shields. They must have something in their back that really doesn't want to see ice. And they are determined to win switch advantage. We go for this second Water Pulse. You can see it does around 40%, which is decent. I'm going to call the bait here. I've got no intention of shielding Celio. The opponent does throw Flash Cannon, which is a bit of a misplay from the opponent, as they are now going to have to throw another move. This again will be the Flash Cannon. It will dump all of the Registeel's energy. Registeel is actually a bit of a problem for this team, as it does resist all of our fast moves and none of our charge moves hit for anything other than neutral. However, as they've dumped their energy, I can bring back in the Hypno, and this Shadow shadow Ball will do quite a lot of damage. We don't get a stab on it, but that Shadow Attack bonus does mean we can one Confusion down. Back out comes the Wish Cash once again. They are loaded full of energy. I attempt to catch a Blizzard onto Lapras. Unfortunately, it's just a Mud Bomb, but either way, it is nice to soak the damage. The opponent is staying in, so my suspicions of a flyer in the back are looking quite decent. The opponent throws a mud bomb. We have got two shields. They're still staying in. They're so loaded, full of energy. We're getting hit with a third mud bomb. I'm not going to shield this one up. The opponent's still staying in, so I am going to throw this surf. 
Surf will be more than enough to KO from this range. If the opponent shields this up, they most definitely have a flyer in the back. The opponent is staying in. We get the Ice Shard through. I'm going to shield this up and let's see what the flyer is. It's either going to be a Knockdown or a Pidgeotto. We farm them down. There is the Pidgeot. So we throw one Ice Shard for one Gust. We give away only one free turn. If I would have fired immediately, they would have got four free turns. So again, I do fire one Ice Shard for the four turn Gust, minimizing the free energy on the opponent. We land the Surf, combo play into Hypno, and that is a good game. GG's to the opponent. So we are currently 3-1 in the set. Let's see if we can clutch out this last game and end the set well. We lead our Shadow Hypno into yet another Mancargo. If you saw me upload yesterday, this is why I bought out Shadow Dragonair as I was getting really annoyed with all these Mancargo I was seeing. So this opponent does build up an absolute ton of energy. I am worried of the overheat and dip. They do bait us with a Rock Tomb, so well played to the opponent. They switch out into Wish Cash. We switch out into the Big Fat Seal because Celio has a worse matchup against the Mancargo. Lapras can handle it as it's only four Ice Shards to a Surf. So in this matchup, you're actually going to see I want to soft lose this matchup. You might be thinking, why would I want to lose Switch? Because the opponent baited us, we are down shields. I need to maximize the energy on Hypno to try and take out that Mancargo. So I am going to fire off this next Body Slam. You can see that with the extra Powder Snow, this next Body Slam is going to potentially KO. So I only hit a great. I leave him with very minimal HP, fire off another Powder Snow, and I actually allow the opponent to take me out. That means that I can now come back in with Hypno. I'll get one extra Confusion. I'll be close to 100 energy, which means that Mancargo with two shields is going to be really pressured to start using them. So you can see I'll fire one more Confusion. Again, this is to try and minimize the free energy of the opponent. So I use a four turn move, they use a five turn move. I only give away one free turn. Again, one Confusion for the Incinerate. This is really important, as like you saw in the mid get, uh, middle matchup we're against the Pidgeotto, them three fast moves did really cost us. So again, we did draw the opponent's two shields. Again, I'll fire one more Confusion to only minimize the one free turn. We take out the Mancargo, in comes Lapras, and that is a good game. So in this video, you've seen a couple of things. You've seen how I utilize the ABB team, and you've also seen how I try and minimize the free energy on the opponent. When I was using a four turn move versus a four turn move with Confusion and Gust, you saw the free energy that the Pidgeot got actually was why I lost that game. So in the other matchups, you saw Ice Shard versus Gust, three turn versus four turn. I wanted to throw just one fast move, which meant the opponent only got one free turn. Again, in the last matchup, when you saw the Incinerate versus Confusion, which is me four turn, then five turn again, I threw in ones. If you was to throw a two or three, for example, if I threw two confusions, get two free turns. If I threw three confusions, I'd get three free turns. So again, I was loaded full of energy. It's one confusion, then the charge move. That means the opponent minimizes their free energy and gives us the best chance of winning the matchup. So like I said at the start of the video, I am gonna link my description to how to utilize uh, ABB team in the description down below. I'd just like to say thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.